This tutorial is one of many instructional videos presented by the Olympus Industrial Equipment Group. This tutorial video will provide you with detailed instructions for setup and operation of advanced acquisition within the Olympus DSX series Opto Digital Microscopes. Advanced acquisition functionality is available on the DSX series Opto Digital Microscopes that are equipped with a motorized stage. This function will allow the user to define an origin point on a sample, then provide two points to de-skew or correct for any rotation of the part on the stage. Once this is accomplished, a set list of inspection points can be loaded, and the system can be programmed to visit these points and perform a predefined image acquisition. To begin, we will select Advanced Acquisition button. Within the Advanced Acquisition window, we will need to work with the first tab to define alignment. This will allow us to mark the origin point and two points to de-skew the sample. The first point, Y1, will be our origin point. For added alignment options, you can also switch to a base axis in Y, where X1 would become the origin point and require two Y points along the straight. Now we will use the joystick to move the sample to the point we will define as the origin. This point may be the corner of the sample or a set point that is a repeatable known location that we can set as the origin. For this sample we will define the upper left point here as the origin. Once the stage is at the location we will select Y1 from the list to make sure it's highlighted. Now we will need to record the stage location by selecting the current XY button to import the values into the table. Now we will have to define the X1 point. This point will be the beginning point along a straight line on the sample. We will again need to drive the stage using the joystick to a known location that has a straight edge. This can be a line within the sample or a physical bottom edge as long as it's a straight line to define the rotation of the sample as it's placed on the stage. We can use the upper bright edge of this sample. Simply double touch or click on the edge to center it. We now need to select the X1 position in the list to highlight it. Again, we will import the current stage XY values by clicking on the button below. We now will need to move the stage to a distance away from the current one along the same straight line using the joystick. The second point should be of a distance far enough to take into account the rotation of the sample. Double clicking on the line will bring it to center. We will now highlight X2. Again selecting current XY to import the stage location. Now that we have all the points recorded, we have to activate the alignment by selecting the on button at the top. To open or create a list of interest points, we will need to select stage coordinates. For this demonstration, we will create a new list of three points. Now we will move the stage to the first point of interest. Once we have compiled this list of interest points, we can save it to a file and load it over again. This will allow us to return to the same points at a later time, perhaps after processing or testing. Double click to center on the first inspection point. We will now select current XY to read the values of the first point. We then select registration at the bottom to create our first point in the list. We will now move the stage using the joystick to the second point of interest on the sample. Once again, we will read the current XY position. We will select registration to add the second point. Now we will move to our final point for this example using the joystick. Select current XY again to read the position. Now we will register our final point. After either setting up our new point list or importing a predefined list, we will select Traveling Acquisition. Within Traveling Acquisition, we have options while the scan is being performed. We can have the system move the Z position to a safe escape distance while moving between points. We can have the system perform an autofocus at each point. We can also have the system implement a measurement wizard that will guide the user to perform a defined measurement on the image after each image is captured. There is also the ability to autosave each image. We will leave the autofocus selected for this example. Next, we simply click on Acquisition to begin capture of our points. 
The system will now begin to move to the list of points to automatically capture the images. It will also perform an autofocus before it takes the snapshot. Once completed, we can close the Advanced Acquisition window. To view the captured images, we can open the Image List box. By double-clicking on the previous image in the list, it will open in our main image window. Again, clicking on the first image at the top of the list will open it. In this instructional video, we have covered Advanced Acquisition within the Olympus DSX series Opto Digital Microscopes. We hope this video has been beneficial and we invite you to contact us directly with any questions.